Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Yahweh, who is the name of the Most High, in ancient Paleo Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, in ancient Paleo Hebrew. This is just going to be a part two to a, a lesson I just did uh, entitled um, The Bible's Teachings of Multiple Wives, uh, Faithful Servants of Christ. And basically, it's a response video to, you know, a cat out there, you know, called Faithful, Faithful Servants of Christ. You know, he's teaching that Bible says that a man can't have more than one woman, right? More than one wife at a time. He says it's sinful if we say otherwise. Okay, so if you have not watched part one, you know, please do so. This is going to be part two. Okay, Lord willing, I put a link in the comment section down below. But if not, you can just look up the same title of this video, but just look up part one and you'll see. Um, anyway, you know, I left off in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 15. Which basically showed that a man can have more than one wife. But just to support that, I wanted to go to the New Testament, uh, to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse um, uh, 17. Now, this is the word of Christ himself. It says, Think not that I come to destroy the law, nor the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Right, so the point of the matter is Christ did not come to abolish or do away with the Old Testament. So the Old Testament laws are still in effect today. Okay, and if that's not the case, well, is homosexuality still a sin? I mean, it says, uh, what is that, Romans? I believe it's Romans, the first chapter. Right? It speaks about homosexuality being an un, uh, unclean thing. Okay, so where they get that? The Old Testament. Okay, so, um, you know, that's another cut to my man, um, you know, faithful servants of Christ. Hey, look, my man, faithful servants of Christ. As I said, you got to get yourself a damn Red Bull, man. Okay, to increase that, you know, vitalize that body and mind, man. Okay, because you clearly, you know, are off the rocker, man. <laughs> Side joke. Anyway, um, let's go back to the Old Testament. I have a question, okay? Then this, this goes to anybody who teaches that it's not okay to have more than one wife in this time. May, right, they might say maybe back then, but now it's not okay, fair enough. But I have to ask you something. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. To take away our reproach. Right, so that has not come to pass. That's that's in the future, man. That's a future prophecy. Okay, but the point is it says one man shall have seven women. Seven women shall take hold of one man. Now, how do you guys get around that? Okay, now it says that this pretty much is the Lord's doing, man. Okay, the Lord is with that. Okay, so, I mean, why is... um. You know, the Lord with a quote-unquote sinful deed, according to these guys. Don't make no damn sense. Okay, um, you know, pretty much that was all I was going to leave off with. But you know what? The Spirit just brought to mind another a good point. Um, is you know what? You know, the Lord likened, you know, the nation of Israel to a comely and delicate woman, right? But the point is, if you know the history of the Bible, there was a point where, you know, the, the northern and the southern kingdom, they split. Which I don't know the whole history, but you can look it up. And you'll find out that the kingdom split into two, okay? So, um, you know, the Lord is speaking to two different kingdoms here. Okay, because remember, the Israel, they split. Okay, the northern and the southern, you know, kingdoms, they split up. Which again, I don't know the whole history because I'm not a history buff. But you can look it up. Okay, and confirm that to be true. So, um, if that's the case, right, which it is according to history, the Lord pretty much describes his polygamous relationship with Israel then. Her being, you know, two women at that point. Which, again, it's symbolic. It's not, like, you know, literal. But I'm just saying that, um, you know, even though it's symbolic and not literal, it's still two women. Okay, so why is the Lord comparing himself, you know, to be a polygamous relationship then, if it's wicked? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Anyway, Ezekiel chapter 16. 
Um, verse 1. And again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, calls Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus says the Lord God to Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother a Hittite. As for thy nativity, in the day, let me turn the page, in the day that thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to supply thee. Thou was not salted at all, neither swallowed at all. None I pity thee to do any of these things unto thee, to have compassion upon thee, but thou was cast out into the open field, to the loathing in thy person, and the day when thou was born, um, and when I passed by thee, and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee, When thou was in thy blood, live yea. I said unto thee, When thou was in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou was increased to wax and great. Thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, thy hair is grown, whereas when thou was naked and bare, now when I passed by thee, and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee, cover thy nakedness. Yes, I swear unto thee, I entered into a covenant with thee, says the Lord God, and now became as mine. Right, now, um, that's, of course, you know, it shows that a girl becomes a woman when she gets her first period, right, that the age of consent according to the Bible is, um, you know, when a child hits sexual maturity, as that clearly uh, proves Okay, anybody saying otherwise doesn't know the scriptures. Anyway, again, the kingdom split. So that's describing a polygamous uh, relationship according to the history. Okay, so, I mean, clearly, my friend, you got, you got cut. Okay, you got cut, my man. Okay, faithful servants of Christ, ETT gave you a spiritual KO once again, right? Once again, this is nothing new. Okay, do a response to this, and if you don't, well, you're, you're a chicken, all right? I'll give you six days from, you know, the uploading of this, right? Because you upload frequently, so six days is a hell of a lot of time for you to make a 10-minute video on it, okay? So you got six days, make a video, respond to it, and if you don't, well, you're a coward. That's simple. Anyway, shalom.